During 1951, the concept of the International Astronautical Federation was developed and the ground was prepared for its establishment at a meeting that year. The meeting would be organised by the British Interplanetary Society in London. An outcome of the 1950 meetings was the setting up of a provisional committee under the chairmanship of Eugen Sanger. This body never met but its members were on hand to liaise with the BIS which would be responsible for coordinating all further material relating to the IAF concept. Also, the committee chairman, Dr. Sanger, would be responsible for conducting the plenary meetings of the delegates prior to the actual foundation of the Federation. So, the Second International Astronautical Congress was held in London during the week commencing the 2nd of September 1951. The venue was Caxton Hall in the city of Westminster, quite close to the Houses of Parliament. After a welcome address by the BIS president, Arthur C. Clarke, the chair was handed over to Dr. Sanger. Representation was broader than it had been in Paris a year before, particularly including societies from the USA, notably the American Rocket Society. On the morning of Tuesday the 4th of September, the heads of the delegation signed the agreement founding the International Astronautical Federation and proceeded to elect officers for the new body. A draft constitution had been prepared by the BIS, incorporating the proposals agreed at Paris and in subsequent correspondence. This defined the purpose and functions of the Federation and its form of government. It provided for a governing body made up by the delegates of its member societies, directed by a president, two vice presidents and having a Swiss national as honorary secretary. The delegates would meet in plenary sessions at each International Astronautical Congress, which was to be an annual event. Eugen Sanger was unanimously elected as the IAF's first president and so continued in the chair. The draft constitution was the main item of the remainder of the Tuesday sessions. It was not adopted then due to unresolved differences regarding voting procedures, but was referred to the vice presidents for revision and to be resubmitted at the next congress. Finally, the decision was taken to invite the Stuttgart Gesellschaft for Weltraumforschung to hold the third IAC in their city. There was a closing banquet on Saturday evening, another feature of every subsequent congress.